Uh, before we get started, I just want to say that if anybody's interested in learning more about your new project, Zarka, they can go to londonreel.tv forward slash Zarka to request more information. We will be investing in Zarka through London Real Ventures, and everybody here on the team is super excited to support you in this amazing venture. Let's jump into it, Ben. There's been a lot of crazy headlines. The big one, well, there's a bunch of big ones, but the one that got a lot of people's attention was the re-release of Google Bard as kind of a reply to ChatGPT that had moved way ahead of Google, and we thought maybe it was leaving it in the dust. Google came out with Bard, connected it to the live internet, allowed it to plug right into your Google Docs and email, et cetera, and a lot of people are saying that now it's back. Google is back competing head-to-head -head with OpenAI, I was just curious if you had any thoughts on this, Ben. Also, I'm curious how you feel about a large language like model like this being plugged into real-time internet data as opposed to ChatGPT, which was only um, archived back to 2021. I think these are all pretty obvious developments. I mean, it, it was clear that ChatGPT not being trained on data up to the minute was just a sort of random artifact of when they chose to, to release it. Like there, there's no fundamental obstacle to training transformer neural nets on up to the minute data. And I mean, there's no fundamental obstacle to making a transformer that you can update real time as, as new data comes in. I mean, OpenAI didn't do it that way at first, just because they were basically creating a research project that came out cooler than they thought, so they decided to decided to to release it early, right? And I think Google catching up to OpenAI in LLMs is almost inevitable. I mean, Google Google in, invented transformer neural nets within within Google Brain, right? And I mean, Google DeepMind. Is a, and Google Brain, you know, either one of those independently is a far stronger AI team than OpenAI in in a lot of ways. I mean, OpenAI, they made a different call in terms of narrow focusing a lot of resources only on training big transformer models and then putting them out as product even when they were like really early stage prototypey with a lot of weird aspects and google didn't make either of those calls right like even though they invented transformers they didn't like double and triple down on them like OpenAI did and they had very cool transformers in in uh, lambda and they they chose not to to release them publicly because they were too iffy in terms of giving screwball re re responses right so I mean, Google made a bunch of calls that were questionable on on the business side in, in in hindsight, but clearly they're super strong on AI in general and on transformers, which they invented in in, in particular, right? So it's is pretty obvious that OpenAI's lead is is temporary, right? Now that doesn't mean OpenAI's lead is meaningless. I mean, Microsoft also has really, really strong AI R&D division in Microsoft research, generally speaking, in many ways, stronger than open AI also, although not in the specific domain of, of, of transformers. So I mean, open AI slash Microsoft are certainly, you know, they're viable competitors to, to, to Google, but Google being in the running is is hardly surprising. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, 
and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four-week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable and pushed to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal, and I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator by far was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.